Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about macOS Monterey 12.6. So this is going to be one of the final updates, feature updates, if you want to call it that, uh, that we'll see for macOS Monterey as we kind of gear up for the next version to come out probably uh, next month in October sometime. So this is version 12.6. There's actually no new feature updates and that's kind of the theme we saw with other versions of Apple software like iOS 15.7. They kind of just released this major uh, update for security problems and fixes. So that's pretty typical. But yeah, they fixed a few security related items and I'm sure from here on out, that's all we're gonna see with macOS Monterey. We won't see any new features added or anything like that. So let's go ahead and just talk about uh, some of these security updates. So if you've never uh, looked at Apple security updates before, you can actually go to their support page and they have a security updates page. And on this page, you can scroll down and you can see all the versions of Apple software that was released. You can see when it was released, the models or devices it's available for. And if you click on the hyperlink on whichever one of these you want, for example, let's take a look at Monterey, 12.6, it will let you know what was fixed in that update. So you can see, we can scroll through here and we can see all the different issues and how they were fixed. So if you don't know how to read this, basically, whatever this bold letter is right here is either the program or part of macOS that was affected. It tells you what software it's available for it then tells you the impact, so what was happening, and then the description is how it was fixed. And then the last thing is they actually give credit to whoever uh, fixed it, which is always pretty nice. So for example, this one that says iMovie, obviously this was an issue with iMovie. It's available for macOS Monterey, and a user may be able to view sensitive user information. And then it says this issue was addressed enabling harden runtime and then this is the person who found it so we have ATS iMovie we got a couple we got three kernels right here we got maps media library and then we have package kit and most of the times these are kind of interchangeable they're basically the same fixes across all Apple software so I know these kernel issues right here this maps issue media library and I believe that's it uh, those were issues that were resolved in iOS 15.7 so it's kind of all across you know platform software whatever you want to call it because it's just how it is it's all the same code right so uh, but that's it I mean those are that's what was addressed here in version 12.6 again from here on out I don't expect any new features for macOS Monterey because the next version of macOS of course is coming out and that's what's going to have all the new features but if you're worried about upgrading to the next major version it's okay because well you can stay on Monterey or iOS 15.7 for probably several more years to come I mean they do typically support as long as the device hardware can you know still be updatable and all that they typically keep supporting this stuff for several more years so you'll keep getting security fixes for Monterey and iOS and things like that I mean they just updated iOS 12 I think on August 31st or something like that so don't worry about it but anyways guys that's all I got for you today I appreciate you watching this video be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will catch you all in the next video